And we are officially live, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, hey there, everybody. Oh. I'm going to assume mostly gentlemen. I better stop right. looking so... There we go. Good. Uh, you know. Yeah, that's that's what we want. We want us to not look good. Yeah. That's how you get you, the viewers. You know, you try that. I, I cannot. <laughs> I'm a professional. I'm just banging on equipment here. Uh, but yeah, here we are, ladies and gentlemen. Mm -hmm. um, Stevedore 2, thank you for joining the chat. Yep. Shush. Um... Yeah, I think that's us. Okay. I'll refresh that and make sure that we've got. Appreciate you uh, showing up. And yeah. here we go. Eagle D20. Howdy, howdy. Howdy. Howdy, howdy. Hey, everybody. Howdy. Hey, everyone. <laughs> so, welcome to Office Hours. I am uh, Professor David. That's Professor Jesus. And that's Professor Daniel. That would be me. And. Doctor it in me. We are. Wow, <laughs> off to a great, if not horrifying, start. Hey, we, we had starting graphics now. We mm -hmm. had, like, lo-fi music playing. It's true. We transitioned Ooh. right over. Uh, we, we're looking at the chat. Like, we are, we're doing this. We're doing, we're we are, professionals. We're, we're doing better than usual. So yes. how are you gentlemen doing? Today? And it's, in fact, the time. It is, in fact, the time. Like, we started streaming, like, before 7.30. Yeah. Even. Yeah. Look at us. We're like, so we're Look like, at us. on time for a oh, technically Jesus on time it's kind well we effectively did the uh we did the equivalent of telling your friend that you're on the train you'll be there in five minutes when, yeah yeah there was a lot of train. literally pulling pants up yeah yes. <laughs> well yep. well y'all well, well, were listening listen, to the sweet lo-fi a technicality sounds. is still a win <laughs> uh yeah so here we are it has been a heck of a week for uh, for some of us, for, for myself mm -hmm. very much. My office opened up, oh, so wait, wait. I've had mm -hmm. to go back to work in the physical uh, sense. I've been mm -hmm. back for, uh, for like a month and a half, but things are ramping up to the point where they expect more people to show up, and they aren't. So mm -hmm. it's, uh, it's quiet, fair. but that's fine. Um, and uh, guys, rush hour trains still suck. They yep. still suck yep. balls. True that. It's true that. Terrible. Still cramped to hold out <laughs> even in a post-COVID world. <laughs> yeah. So I guess uh, we should tell the lovely viewers that there is going to be some changes yeah. uh, for for office hours. None of them bad. But we are taking it a little bit more seriously, and we are going to be doing uh, themed office hours and mm -hmm. telling people what the theme of the discussion is going to be ahead of time right and well, is that, that that is our plan like, that is our yeah. <laughs> they did not turn out for this one but we got we have plans yeah. no no like i said like i said uh we were we were pretty busy i most notably was pretty busy mm -hmm. um so so i said hey guys we should totally do this not this week though yeah 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 so uh we have been golly wow we've been pretty chill with yeah. Fandible, yeah. honestly uh we haven't been up to a whole lot i've been working on some new t-shirt designs nice mm -hmm. uh and i'm getting some pushback on the fandible snuggies mm. and uh dan and jesus exclusive body pillows mm -hmm. um <laughs> mainly because they can't get my pose right They've yeah exactly times. well you flip it over it's you choose which rodriguez <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah and so it's rodriguez squared yeah, yeah. um <laughs> and uh uh, what would that be in Spanish? Rodriguez squared. Cuadrado. Mm -hmm. Rodriguez cuadrado. Sí. Al, cuadra al cuadrado. Al cuadrado. Which no. is going to be the name of the brand. Mm -hmm. um, it's just going to be a sequence of these two on reversible items. Yep. Uh, someone would buy that. Someone <laughs> would buy that if you showed feet. Oh, yeah? Yeah. yeah. So, I some... Mean, if, if you showed feet. I'm the body hair guy, so it's going to be all feet. So <laughs> Coming out of everywhere. Oh, that's great. Some larger like, than others. It's like a hobbit nightmare. <laughs> so recently uh, I was on Twitter. I know. Mm -hmm. Bad mm -hmm. way to start a conversation. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. But I saw that uh, there was a there was a tweet uh, from uh, I don't have the tweet in front of me, but somebody asking for TTRPGs that were not critical role. Mm -hmm. um, and I or podcasts specifically. And, and here's my first thought. I didn't know that Critical Role had a podcast. Mm. I thought they were just the show. No, I mean, their podcast is literally just the yeah, audio pretty from much. their show. Like, they're uh, not doing anything. They're not doing, like, they're not doing what we're doing. Yeah. 
All right. All right. Wait, wait. Have a gun so we can we separate are. this and just release it as a podcast as well? I mean, yeah, technically, yeah. yeah. We should yeah. do that. We should, we, should. we should do that. That is we a lot of work, but sure. No, it's not. It's not work at all. It is literally rip the audio from our recording. Okay, let me phrase. Let me that's work for you. <laughs> no, it's, done. it's done. I'm already taken care of. By the way, all of this stuff... Uh, showing up on YouTube uh, the day after. Okay. Yep. So exactly, we're trying to we're trying to actually do more things yeah. for mm-hmm. Fanable after roughly a decade. It took us exactly long enough. Exactly a decade. We've decided to use all of our equipment in conjunction with one another. <laughs> right. <laughs> we've had the we've had the lights. We recently got the cameras. We've had some of the cameras. Mm-hmm. Uh, we've had the audio gear forever. Mm-hmm. And you know we did. Uh, we did straight to home video a mm-hmm. couple of times. Our series on uh, on doing a video as we run a game based on a non-existent sequel to a movie. Yes, and we will be picking that back up uh, in a, a little while, in a couple of months. And looking forward to that, actually. Yeah. I'm really looking forward to that as well. Yeah. Right, so the chat is working. It's just almost, <laughs> it's just almost completely transparent. What? But it's what? there. G- 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 ghost chat. Yeah, yep. uh, it's all right because we can we can view it. Even, and look, man, if you're watching on Twitch, it's a chat on the side. Mm-hmm. We're just trying to get fancy. But we do have a comment from Steve Adore, mm-hmm. uh, which unfortunately did not show on this thing because uh, because Twitch is weird. Mm-hmm. So I'm going to re- refresh this and see if it shows up properly so we can read your actual comment. That's there we go. So well they time. tried. Here we go. We got multiple comments that we'd missed. Uh, okay. Eagle D20 mentioning that Snuggies are great. It's they're like everything else as in a scene on TV ads, mostly used for somebody with some form of physical disability. Like the Snuggie is a blanket for the wheelchair bound, mm-hmm. so it actually has a purpose. Huh. And, and that's actually a little known fact. A lot of those as as seen on TV products that have like these really weird, really specific applications, mm-hmm. they're really useful for disabled people. Interesting. They're really these are so these are uh, these are products that are made actually like designed for to solve a problem for disabled people but in order to, so that they are not five hundred dollars each one because you know mm-hmm. you know basically so they can take advantage of the you know uh, scale of production savings whatever mm-hmm. they just make them a little bit cheaper out of materials and then just put them up as like random amazing item so <laughs> now they sell ten thousand of them and the people that actually need them can buy them for 19.99 i did that's not... wow really cool wait yeah. are you telling me qvc is actually doing like yeah, no, yeah. The i mean in a weird sort of way <laughs> yeah hmm. um so steven or two mentions uh, how can anyone resist such a handsome pillow how <laughs> many katanas do disabled people need uh, more? More than they have now. Yeah. More I mean, than they have now. That's that's fair. I've I've watched those like four a.m. as the sun comes up knife shows. <laughs> yeah. Just <laughs> bewildered at. I mean, the type of person that would buy all those knives and katanas at four a.m. is probably not the type of person you want to have all those knives and katanas. I'm just I mean, imagining somebody whole... buying a Snuggie and then 13 throwing knives. <laughs> Yo, that's like an origin story right there. <laughs> that's like, there's a hero in the making. Ah, um, uh, yes, 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 the cheap-ass ninja. And uh, Steven Ardu mentions that they tried to listen to the Critical Role podcast but found it inferior to the Fandible podcast Ooh. and just gave up on it. Okay, Likewise, okay. likewise. You know, if you want to... Leave that as a uh, review. <laughs> or on, no, no, leave it on the Critical Role podcast. <laughs> yeah, that's what I want to do. I want to piss off their yes. very limited critters, following. Critters, yeah. there's like three of them. Yeah. Yeah. Bring it on, exactly. Critters, bring it on. Yeah. I heard Critters and I definitely the first time thought it was a subsect of furries. And, I, <laughs> and, and, you, and you were not wrong, and you were not wrong. Uh, <laughs> cool. The twenty. a lot of the knife sharpening tools are for people with limited or no mobility in one hand. Hmm. Yeah. I'm learning so much QVC is doing the Lord's work out yeah. there. That blows my mind. Also, I, I, you know, when I first saw that knife show, I was like, you know, uh, I was a tween. And then when I moved out on my own um, uh, as like a teenager, I would watch. I had terrible insomnia and I would watch TV throughout the night and I would watch. I would rewatch, you know, these knife shows and. I would be bewildered at a man's ability to talk about knives for two hours. Mm -hmm. Like, and never miss a beat. Never stop talking. Like, the Micro Machines guy kind of keeps talking. And um, And then you turn into that guy, but about microphones. About Mm -hmm. microphones, yeah. Yeah. (laughs) Exactly. You gotta sharpen your microphone. Yeah, yeah. 
Um, so, uh, Dan, looks like you have Hey, a, yeah, we do have a first-time chat from viewer, Firestar002. Mm-hmm. Uh, welcome from uh, 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 one of our one of our uh, uh, great uh, fans on the on the Discord chat, which, by the way, uh, I don't think anybody in the chat right now is not also on Discord, but if you're not, yep. Discord, Fandible, Google it, yeah, show yep. up, yep. we're mm-hmm. great. Pretty much. Um, so, Dan, actually, a question for me. Who knew? Uh, quick question. How long did it take to create? No, uh, that's a question for Dave, actually. Yeah. Oh, uh, I mean, you, you mentioned me, and I no, will no, pass it, it on to Dave. No, no, it says Dan. Dan, Dan. Uh, How long did question. it take to create the SOS characters, uh, Saints of Suffering characters? Because uh, I spent two hours making my own Saints of Suffering characters with Discord. Uh also, one of my players asked if they could have Charlie as their dad, and I'm like, you know what? Fuck it. It's uh, sure. Uh, mm-hmm. So first of all, it took me almost no time at all to create uh, <laughs> Saints of Suffering character. It almost like it came. It, it felt like it came to you through an email. I kind. I feel like I know. I kind of outsourced it out to, uh, <laughs> to my offshore talent here. Yeah. Uh, uh, so I'll, I'll pass. I'll pass the rest of these questions over to to, to Dave. Uh, all right, so making SOS characters uh, for those of you watching after the stream on YouTube or if, uh, whatever. Um, uh, SOS is Saints of Suffering. It's my shatter and game where people play EMTs. And I think I've said this before, and I know it's been brought up by the players, but there seems to be this misconception that I made... Uh, I made them with fewer points than your average Shadowrunner, which is not true. I did make them with the same points that my other Shadowrun game characters were made with. That is because my philosophy for storytelling is your protagonists, who the camera is, is following, should be really good at stuff. And another reason I did that is because you have all played your other Shadowrun characters that the hook of, oh, my Saints of Suffering character cannot do the cool shit my other character can do isn't really a narrative device that I think would catch uh, catch on with Mm -hmm. Fandible. You know, like rolling, you know, realizing that you're not as good as another character in the same genre for a different game Mm. is is interesting i think and y'all would 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 try to be really clever but the fact of the matter is that eventually it would be like oh i'm just an emt who's not as good as my other character and stuff so i made the saints of suffering characters with the same points but i applied a uh, I, I applied a um technique of simply just bottoming out certain aspects of their character that you would round out as a shadow runner so that they were not as good as shadow runners, <laughs> uh, but instead were good at things that they were supposed to do in the game. But then they had these uh, massive deficiencies that kept them as not shadow runners. Mm-hmm. So for instance, I spent virtually no points on money. <laughs> you have to spend points on money when you make a character. I didn't do that. I did give you some gear but I made sure that your resources were non-existent. Mm. Another thing that I did was I actually paid attention to the financial backgrounds. As in, I made characters who were all dirt poor. Yeah. When you make Shadowrunners, usually people skip that part, right? Because mm-hmm. you're going to be globe trotting, You're going to be hunting ghouls. You're going to be assassinating people. Jumping out of windows and falling onto <laughs> the spirits and shit like yep. you're going to be doing crazy stuff the last thing that your shadow runners are going to be worried about is like whether or not you can pay rent at some hovel in renton like mm-hmm. that's just not usually the the feel of many of the games at least that i've run or that i've played in what i did with saints of suffering is i made that a through line you are poor you are skilled you could probably get paid more but when it comes down to it, at the end of the day, you go somewhere that is not nice. Your neighborhood is really dangerous, mm-hmm. or your place is super small, or you you know you have to move locations over and over because you can't actually pass a credit check in order to have a decent lease. Mm-hmm. It's stuff like that, and stuff like that that it's a wild, crazy fantasy that uh, that really we we like to escape into. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. absolutely. And so, uh, and so I got to play a little bit more with the aspect of, you know, uh, of rampant hyper-capitalism in, in Shadowrun. So the way that I designed the characters 
Um, first of all, it was how long did it take me? It took me about an hour per character because I was really number crunching. I mean, that's if you're going to make a Shadowrun character mm-hmm. or a character in the Shadowrun world, yeah. it, yeah. it yeah. behooves you to to really try to bring home the uh, dice mechanics for what you want them to be good at. Yes. So because I had made so many Shadowrun characters, especially at that time, I was constantly running, I was constantly thinking about Shadowrun. It took about an hour each time. And what I did to keep the time down was I simply wrote down three things. The first two were the primary thing they were good at. The secondary thing they were good at, because remember, they're not shadow runners. So there's no reason for them to only be good at one thing. Shadow runners, yes, if you're a, a sniper or a samurai or a you know spider spirit or summoner or whatever, it makes sense that you would only be good at that one thing because that's what you're paid for. Mm-hmm. Normal people have to learn multiple skills to get by. And in Saints of Suffering, I did that by making, you know, I made a driver. But not just a driver. Anyone could drive. Just they could drive the best. I made a, you know, I made a magical paramedic. They were not the only person who knew how magic worked. Mm-hmm. They were just the best at it. Mm-hmm. But then you 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 make a secondary ability um, or or set that would round out the character and be realistic, right? So all of you would need medical abilities. Mm-hmm. All mm-hmm. of you would know how to drive a van. Mm-hmm. All of you would know how to talk to cops. Yeah. Um, so so that's where the numbers started to spread out. Mm-hmm. And it took me about an hour for each character. And then the third thing I wrote down was a massive deficiency. I took something away from a character that no shadow runner would let happen. So, for instance, the driver is got, has got a charisma of one. And... On paper, not a big deal. A lot of Shadowrun characters say like, well, I don't need charisma, screw it. What I did then was I endeavored to make sure that that character was put in positions where that critical deficiency in charisma (laughs) would come up. (laughs) And I did. Every time. (laughs) And I did. At, At no point did I say, oh, by the way, you're not, you know, it's not, I don't believe in throwing the perfect foil at your characters who are really good. So mm-hmm. like I never introduced a driver that was better than the driver in my uh, of my player characters. All I did was say, okay, now you do have to talk to a cop. Roll mm-hmm. your charisma one. Mm-hmm. Still the greatest driver that may mm-hmm. have ever lived, mm-hmm. but ch- <laughs> fact of the matter is they have a record <laughs> and they have a charisma of one. But they can run out. from the cops really good. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> from away from the cops. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Yes. So yes. it took me about an hour each time. Um, if you're not comfortable enough with the system, I cannot stress this enough. Just lift some of the pregens from the book mm-hmm. because they are made by people like me who work for the mm-hmm. game company and they have I, and they have number crunched and you can move some stuff around. And the third most important thing is I got a little loosey goosey with the points near the end. Mm-hmm. I did. I got a little loosey goosey. If I if I if I wanted, um, I want one of the characters to speak Korean. I just gave <laughs> yep. them Korean. It's yep. Yep. fuck it. Like if I wanted one of the characters to. Um, be able to read braille or to have a functional knowledge of sports it's not game breaking to do that and it informs the character i love giving free knowledge skills because it almost never comes up and if it does you know what that means your player has to role play that really obscure thing you gave them and that's, that's usually hella fun no. yeah, yeah exactly exactly um if you're a fan of the shadow and prime game i i i run We've, you know, one of the first games, somebody used their cryptozoology skill that I've never seen used in a game <laughs> to, like, to summon a mermaid. Oh, <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> and, like, it's stuff like that where you're like, wow, the ball's on you. But also, yeah. like, okay, now we're all just trying to, like, you know, we're all trying to get behind whatever this weird skill is. So, yeah. um, so real quick, uh, thank you for the follow of Disaster Tourism. Um, I believe you'd followed on, on my personal channel before, but now that we're on the FanDuel one, also likewise, anybody who's uh, on the chat hasn't followed us here, we're not officially on the FanDuel channel, because mm-hmm. we are, uh, every week, 
slightly closer to something resembling professional. Um, <laughs> we also, uh, so uh, Eagle D20 mentions that I found a guy on Fiverr to build a Shadowrun character. Yeah, that guy is Dave. Right? <laughs> um, oh, I'd do that in a second. Yeah. Like, I mean, that's, uh, dude, like, you know, you, you, you want a side hustle. There you go. Now I mean, exactly. I go, like, I will make your Shadowrun character. I mean, honestly, there's money in it. <laughs> yeah. There's yeah. money in it. Or, um, <laughs> or if there's ever a, um, if there's ever a, uh, office hours that I have to do by my lonesome, mm-hmm. I'll just set up an overhead camera as well. <laughs> yo, yo. And just drop drop a character and be like, all right, class, sit down. Yeah. I'm going to show you how to make I'm going to show you how to make like yeah. the baddest ass spirit summoner. That would actually yeah. be a lot. You know, that's, that's something we should do at some point. Like, some, listeners, remind us. Because we do uh, specialize in games. Yeah, v- Ooh, viewers, yeah. remind us of this later. We're, we're just going to use you as our, as our notepad. Mm-hmm. Uh, but yeah, each mm-hmm. of us like doing a little, like, we can do it solo, or we can do it like one of those times when it's just the two of us, or even all three of us and throw ideas around. Shit. <laughs> it's it's, <laughs> it's feeding time for the, the cat. cats. Yeah. Uh, we, sometimes that comes through. Sometimes, But anyway, yeah. Yeah. Uh, but yes, like little podcasts where we like, you know, like, I'll make a changeling character. You'll make a Shadowrun character. Jesus mm-hmm. will make some monstrosity of flesh and blood yes, that, that haunts your dreams. You yep. know, it's yep. gonna be great. Name Fred. Uh, yep. I like. I like he that. Might even use a game system. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I like that. We should do that. Um, catching up on the chat again. Uh, Stevedore two slash shush uh, mentions uh, the Saints of Suffering aren't trained snipers and special ops soldiers. Super good at shooting stuff and repelling down buildings. Huh. <laughs> um, yeah, you'd never, you'd never, you? you'd never guess that. Um, yep. One of my other favorite things about the characters is that only one person is licensed to carry a gun because you're making normal people yep. yeah. who have like no clout in the society of Shadowrun. Exactly. Mm-hmm. So Angela's character is the only one who knows who can carry a gun, mm-hmm. and when she pulled out that gun once, every other player, you guys were the best. Like, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> like everyone freaked out. <laughs> 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 yeah. So, uh, actually, sorry, one quick note. We did actually skip one question. Mm-hmm. Oops, uh, uh, one of my players asked if they could have Charlie as their dad. Yeah. And I'm yeah. like, sure, you know what, fuck it, sure. So, yes. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. We, we approve of this. We, we generally approve, like, yeah, take, look, man, take our character. Look, if, if our characters, uh, NPCs or anything, somehow end up in your games or anything, that's it's More fine. More you, yes. We, Unbelievably we, it, it, it's, 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 it's also canon. Again, yeah. like, look, the canon of Fandible, and I, I, I will... I will die. This is this is the hill that I will die on. Uh, you needed to be here two hours ago, hanging out with us. Um, <laughs> but uh, is is that the strange is the canon setting? Of <laughs> All our games take place within the universe of the strange. Harold and Callisto are the only real people in, the, yeah. in, in, in any of this. Um, <laughs> so so as far as I'm concerned. If you use one of our characters or NPCs in your own games, that just brings them within the Fandible <laughs> the cinematic universe yeah. and just helps us expand our empire. Yeah. And please, by all means, let us know how it goes. Uh, We'd love to definitely. see what direction you take them. Definitely. In. So, uh, who takes medicine up to a high level anyway? I mean, right. People who want to live? Ah, fair, <laughs> fair. Uh, disaster tourism mentioning uh, for, for those when you, know, when you use... Uh, uh, you know those weird skills like cryptosiology and everything. Those are some of their favorite moments in RPGs. To mm-hmm. be honest, yep. uh, likewise, yep. uh, Steve or two, you are right. Having just followed the link from the Discord, I hadn't realized this wasn't Dan's personal channel. It is not. In fact, it is the, the Fandible one. I will. St- I will still be streaming uh, my weekly uh, pantsless o'clock streams now <laughs> on this one. Uh, so stay tuned for that. Um, Disaster tourism. Now, in terms of making character. Uh, now, in terms of making character difficulty, how would you compare Rifts versus Shadow? Oh boy, we'll, Rifts! We'll, yeah, oh, we'll, we'll boy. get you. We'll get back. I'm to that assuming in a you mean the Palladium Rifts, not like the new oh, Savage yeah. World. We'll, we'll, we'll get we'll get back to that in a second. I just want to finish catching up on chat real quick. Uh, Eagle D twenty, will you will tell me about your character? return in the office hours oh that's a great idea it just might it just might so the whole point of telling me about your character was getting people outside the 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 podcast to tell us about their character Mm -hmm. and uh we could have guests we we Mm -hmm. actually do have a guest planned for for later uh we'll we'll have more details uh closer to to the to the date on that Mm -hmm. uh but yes i like the idea eagle d20 i always like tell me about your character here's the problem with tell me about your character uh was my, my my problem being 
I, I, I hate editing with a passion. This guy that you were mentioning before from the other podcast, um, mm-hmm. again, he had to be here with us two hours ago. Um, yeah, they like, I just want to be the talent. Mm-hmm. I just want to be the talent. I hate <laughs> yeah, this is great. Live streams. Yeah. Then I just hit the button and then hit another button and it shows up later on YouTube and that's it. <laughs> um, yep. So, so yes, I want to do more. Tell me about your character. I just got to figure out a way to do it in such a way that it doesn't require me to edit mm-hmm. and that I don't have to like go to one of these guys and ask them to edit because A, they'll tell me no mm-hmm. and B, if they do tell me yes, like I will feel deeply indebted to them and I already feel that way for a lot of time. <laughs> That's right. So, uh, so, the, the so nice, yeah. The nice thing about that though is that Tell Me About Your Character is effectively an interview. Yeah. And an interview, especially with people who are excited to talk about their characters, mm-hmm. will require very little editing and the only thing because it's not you know improv like our role-playing games yep. mm-hmm. all you have to do is keep a pad and paper yep. and then just mark down the time when you think you've got something you need to cut out yep yep, yep. that's all you have to do yep um all right uh see uh that's tourism uh because making freddy krueger in rifts was really fun but complex as fuck <laughs> we'll get to that in a second yeah uh disaster tourism one more time that makes sense as jack stallion is a recurring liquor of choice as well mm-hmm. yeah exactly for the multiverse exactly that's yep. that's the thing like it's all it's it all ties together <laughs> there, there, there has been a long-term overarching plot yeah there's they the don't stallion. know about it <laughs> but i do there's the stallion verse <laughs> There's the Snicket's verse. Oh, and all of the... these, and it's it's not a coincidence that all these started in my games. Oh, God, yes. right, it's right. It's not a coincidence. A little like, reality altering I've been altering working towards game. a Fandible Cinematic Universe since the start. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so, oh, and we'll write that down, write that down. Uh, yeah, uh, now, now in terms of making character, yeah, write that down, write that down, how to make a uh, Rims vs. Shadow run character. Let's get to it. Okay. Dave. All right. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, I mean, all right. Uh, so let's, let's give some background for those of you who don't know. Also, what uh, starting the timer. Imagine there's a clock uh, around here somewhere, mm-hmm. uh, showing uh, just a countdown to the point where David's eyes start bleeding. <laughs> yeah, yep. exactly, exactly. <laughs> Speak it in tongues. Uh, for those of you who don't know, Riffs is a game published by a company called Palladium. Uh, it is an extremely prolific. Uh, I think they're up to like a oh, hundred books now. Jeez. Uh, yeah, no, it's a, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And it is, uh, it is referred to, I believe it refers to itself as Gonzo role playing, uh, because it is absolutely limitless in the stuff that you can play. The setting is simply post-apocalyptic earth where, uh, uh apropos of what we're talking about with the fanable universe, uh, openings into other realities have completely, populated earth and these are anything from judeo-christian hell to a sci-fi universe where thought is formed into real things Mm -hmm. to a giant ass ocean um and everything in between ass ocean yes (laughs) ocean of ass yeah yeah yeah. um check out my only (laughs) fans um and so so the the thing about riffs is that you can conceivably play anything. If you're familiar with, um, what's the giant black box game again? Invisible uh, Sun. Invisible Sun, Sun yeah. yeah. It's much like Invisible Sun where nothing is out of bounds. However, it is extremely, uh, the term is crunchy. Mm-hmm. Its mm-hmm. rules are, for, for character creation, are pretty in-depth. Uh, you constantly have to flip from one part of the book to the other. It's all basic percentages, and it sounds easy enough, but um, I. But it's. Not. I'm still making a character since I was 17. <laughs> like right now, I think on some level, I'm figuring out his boxing level, <laughs> um, and because of that, uh, it, it's extremely granular, and it takes forever. The joke amongst my friend group, Tex, friend of the show, was that you need a PhD to finish a hmm. riffs character, and so that juxtaposed with Shadowrun. Um, which is also extremely granular and has a lot of options to it. But the thing about the thing about riffs that makes it much more complicated than Shadowrun is that Shadowrun tells you what your options are up front, right? Mm-hmm. You play a rigor or you play a street samurai, you play a mage. And you have, you know, multiple books that you can draw from. But the thing about riffs is that you have dozens of of books you can draw from. In fact, maybe one day I will unpack all of my Rifts books and I will have you two challenge me to make a character 
Hmm. Just come up with something. Yeah. And I will I will find you the parts of the book that allow you to do it. Nice. So because of that, I would say riffs is so much more difficult. And also, riffs unfortunately falls very heavily into the arms race issue of expansions, expansion books. Whereas you make a character from one book and then an expansion comes out, a new book, and it does every and there's a there's a character class that does everything your character that you built does, but so much more and way better. Hmm. So you're constantly looking at these new books, these new books, these new books to see what kind of best deal you can get for this character. So because of that, I would say riffs hands down way hmm. harder. And nope. uh, yeah. Yeah. So I hope that, I hope that answered your question and I didn't just go off on too much of a tangent. Yeah. Um, I love riffs, savage worlds and I would love to run it again. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah. Oh, oh God. <laughs> Play him. Uh, yeah, okay, so uh, Eagle D20, uh, Rifts, do a line of a product that was popular when it was made, roll dice, Shadowrun, get a calculator, no, the, the fancy calculator, <laughs> uh, Sasser Tourism mentioning, uh, pretty sure the one they did was S-W-A-D-E as well, so if that's easier, then not sure what, Swade, S-W-A-D-E, Shadow. I don't know. Uh, Savage Worlds. Savage, Savage Worlds. Uh, something. Yeah. Oh, anyway, yeah. Savage Worlds. Oh yeah. Adventures Edition. One. Yeah. That, uh, Savage Worlds yeah. Adventure Edition. Yep. Yeah. That that sounds about. Right. Yeah. The, that that was. That, those are much simpler. Oh, yeah. So, oh, yeah. Simpler. so much. Savage simpler, Worlds yeah. is a much simpler system than the original Rifts. But that, yeah. that can be said of so many things. So, I yes. I am still thrilled that Rifts transferred over to a Savage Worlds version. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I cool. miss Rifts so much. And then when I heard that, I was like, a dream come true. Now, mm-hmm. I really like uh, Steve Adore's. Uh, um, uh, mention of rifts uh it's the 90s and we're not dungeons and dragons oh yeah that checks out yeah that yeah. was that's basically about right. Riffs, that's like, about right dungeons and dragons has that whole fantasy bullshit cover although we do have palladium fantasy check it out yeah um but mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. yeah and uh, and also another fun thing about rifts is uh anything could play in rifts yeah Mm-hmm. And he, so they had Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. That was another property they used. You could play that in Rifts. Yeah, they, they had. Did. Oh, sh- yeah, yeah, Palladium, they had a, Palladium, true, that yeah. Was a Palladium yeah. game. They had a they had a post apocalyptic game about electric bugs that invade yeah. the Earth. You could play that in Rifts because yeah. Rifts would have Rifts in space time open up to any reality. Mm-hmm. So if it was part of the Palladium system, if it was part of their publications, you could play it. By the way. If you are watching and you have any clout in these decisions, please, I'm begging you, make a Nightbane Shadow or Shadowrun, make a Nightbane <laughs> crossover game for uh, Savage Worlds. Please, hmm, please, yes, please. Yes, I miss yes. Nightbane. It's probably one of my favorite games. Hmm. Never get to play it because it's fucking Palladium system and <laughs> no one's going to play that with me. So, <laughs> yep, yep. Um, I might cons. <laughs> no, no, I won't. You won't. No, you no, won't. No. Uh, Eagle D twenty agreeing that Nightbane was in fact so cool. Uh, Disaster so tourism. Let you have full permission to keep tangenting from them. As they <laughs> love this. Uh, and they also mentioned, uh, you know, word dungeons and dragons and also everything else. <laughs> the cover of one of their books was a cyborg dragon, like a yeah. dragon with a cyborg eye and like a laser. Yes, it's like the craziest thing I remember because we were playing. Dungeons. Like that should be on the side of a fucking van. <laughs> yes, and we should own that van. Yeah, exactly. Because like Rifts was like nothing is sacred. Yep. yep. Let's mm-hmm. give a dragon a cyborg arm why not because it's there, a dragon there, there are rules for that yeah cyber yeah. arms yeah yeah there are characters you can play a dragon with a cyber arm it's it's not even like oh that's in the cover it's like it's a boss no that's a starting level character <laughs> no, that's, yeah one of the basic characters was a hatchling dragon yeah you could play yep. and they, they made a point that you were had to be a hatchling you were like literally hours old when the game starts mm-hmm. because dragons scale so ridiculously uh, so scale uh, yeah uh, not a purpose um, <laughs> joke Although Eagle D, Eagle D20 mentions that, look, if, if you do the quarterly game, I'll play. Because uh, we, we, look, we, we keep saying this, but it's like, we're lazy. Mm-hmm. Uh, but we do, we do want to run quarterly games. Maybe we should cut the, that. <laughs> no, it's, it's, we're live. This is happening. Oh, uh, God. Look, I want them to know it was me. <laughs> uh, again, uh, this asteroid I'm mentioning last night in our Rifts game, Freddy summoned Leatherface and Michael Myers to fight some Broadkill or Broodkill, I guess. Uh, so I kind kill? of love this system. I don't even, I have no idea what they're talking about other than horror monsters. Yeah. But I'm on board. Yeah, it's Freddy. 
Freddy a Rifter? I don't know. Freddy's a summoner, apparently. Yeah, but Rifters can summon, and Freddy works for Of course, Freddy is a hell. Rifter. He does. He, he he goes into he does all sorts of shit. In yeah, dreams. like yeah. You'll have to tell me what what um, book you made Freddy from. Was it a Atlantean, base? Because um. if 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 it's from the base book, let me try to guess. Uh, if it's from someone ally, apparently. Um, oh, summon ally. ally. So okay. So oh right, you're playing Swade. I forget. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. So, uh, Summon Alley. Yeah, so, any sort of magician yeah. character, um, not a techno wizard, um, who they made so much cooler, by the way, <laughs> in, in Savage Worlds. That's one of the things I love about Savage Worlds that riffs really didn't do well. It's yeah. balancing. Oh, yeah. Riffs said, fuck your balancing. Mm. Like, <laughs> fuck your balancing. Yeah. Like, for real. Like, yeah. It's, 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 like, Savage Worlds at least, like, two. Characters from different classes at the same level mm-hmm. are gonna be fairly comparable. Yeah, you know, like some one of them's gonna be better at certain things than other. That that's the whole point of classes, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah. But overall, yeah, it, it, you know, more or less in general power level. Original riffs was like, you can be a homeless person <laughs> with nothing to your name, zero skills, and how many limbs would you like to be missing? <laughs> Or, hear me out here. Glitter boy. You could <laughs> just live inside an absolutely fucking indestructible <laughs> suit of armor <laughs> that just shoots a rail gun. It's also immune to lasers, by the way. <laughs> um, so, so you can fuck up options. that dragon with his stupid eyes. Yeah, exactly, exactly. <laughs> And also that homeless guy, just all of them, like it's just. Um, yeah. So oh, these yeah, are the these are your, these are these are equally valid starting level. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Uh, exactly. Yeah. yeah. So, so Savage Worlds made it so that it's like, no, that vagabond has stuff that the guy in the super suit straight up can't yeah. do because he's lived his entire life here's, as an indestructible super suit guy. Yeah. Here's the thing: I probably will never run the Rifts Palladium, but I might run for you guys to because I know you've had that Rifts game, but I do kind of like the idea of the oh, yeah. Gonzo role playing of mm-hmm. Rifts. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, I might run the Savage fun. World version with you guys at some point in the future. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah I've been thinking about it for a little while. I'm I don't know what the fuck it. I'd run, but it'd be something funny. I'm all <laughs> That's the it. thing. Anything works. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Anything works. Um, uh, Steven Ortoon mentions, Fandible, we're lazy and proud, except for David, because he carries around Catholic guilt. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's about right. Accurate. Yeah, yeah, that's exactly. about right. These are great. Put it on a t-shirt. Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, does that sure some, uh, doesn't remember checks okay it looks like it's uh shifter is is what they're saying shifter yeah yeah oh mm-hmm. uh, yeah shifter oh, i'm thinking of rifter yeah shifter is if i recall correctly that's the one that signs their soul over to a larger uh you know um deity from or thing from beyond in exchange for power yeah. mm-hmm. and one of the things that they can do is they're basically a summoner yeah. with uh, access to some seriously high level spells. Interesting. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's one of the base characters. Okay, <laughs> okay. That's, like, that's entry nice. level, entry level higher. Yeah, uh, Zazdrism, I believe so. Yeah, had a lot of help making this character as this was my first time in the game. Oh mm-hmm. wow! So yeah, yeah, that checks okay. out. Okay, but yep. also like yeah, you're playing Freddy fucking Krueger in a in a Rifts game, and again, and that is a perfectly valid and cromulent option. And let's Rifts. be honest, like, in Rifts, like Freddy Krueger would be like one of the weakest monsters you're like playing in that game. But like, you just, like call, I'm, just uh, call our viewers character weak in on. comparison to Cthulhu. Okay, yes. <laughs> anyway, Who's in I'll, the game? Anyway, that's Who's in I, the system? You I can will, make which, Cthulhu. And I will be playing them in your game. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, Eagle D20, look, if you want to run a high fantasy game in, in Rifts, Ohio and Kentucky exist. No joke, they have the high fantasy stuff. They do. Oh, wow. Do. Oh, yeah, they do, yeah. don't they? Yeah. And then there's the oh, Colorado shit, I Baronies. About that. I, I forgot about correctly. And like, Rifts was not Mexico. Bad. I would run a Mexico game. Mexico is fucking buck wild. Is that the one crazy. with vampires? Vampires, yes. yeah. It's all it's a vampire nation. Yeah, the whole vampire okay. versus uh the coalition, was it? Yeah. Or like Um yeah, yeah, yeah. vampire versus the coalition, yeah. vampire versus the Everybody. the the uh coalition of magic. Mm-hmm. Um the uh the thing about vampires is that if you look at the original writing, vampires are like their base grunts are unstoppable. It is laughably difficult to make a survivable character in Mexico. <laughs> yeah. Um, oh, it's 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 horrifying. 
And if it wasn't for the fact that water, just straight up water hurt them, then yeah, it wouldn't be a setting that you could play. Yeah. Exactly. It's like vampires, crazy powerful. How do you prepare against them? Lots of super soakers. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, exactly. it's just... Wait, they're just straight up room to regular water? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Huh. But, but a wild vampire, a feral vampire, not even one intelligent enough to do anything more than like maybe like, you know, set a trap or something mm. or an ambush. Um, it, they are unstoppably strong, fast, can hypnotize you, oh, can shit. turn invisible, can turn into like a bat or some shit like that. Something like that. Um, and also they, if I recall correctly, do MDC damage. Yeah, Holy they do. So they can like put a shit. hole through a, a building. And yeah. that's literally just a motherfucker you run across. That's just street. a wild vampire. And then the, yeah. the, 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 the big ones, like, first of all, they're like a hive mind. They have those like, yeah. vampire like mm-hmm. hive minds and whatnot. Yeah, mm-hmm. they're, they're crazy, crazy powerful. Um, mm-hmm. Yeah. That's a tourism. Uh, let's see. Uh, oh, well, he got one shot killed last night. Oh. Uh, so uh, R- R.I.P. Freddy, but he'll be back. <laughs> um, and then Eagle D20, yeah, uh, vampires, unstoppable until you get a wet towel. That's <laughs> true. <laughs> or like true. the quick flex crazy in my game rode around on a BMX bike with a wooden lance. Oh, I like that. Yeah. Really yeah. nice. Yeah. yeah, and then also, like, yeah, I think wood is one of the things, like, yeah, it's yep. like stick to the heart directly. Mm-hmm. Like, it makes them... If you move first... If, yeah, that's a thing. You, you you could be okay. That's the problem. Also, I really do like the fact that it took one of the weakest spells in the entire universe, Cause Rain. Yep. <laughs> summon yeah. Rain, and it made it, like, can you summon Rain? Fuck yeah. Do you want to be the mayor? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> like, we, we will worship you. We can, <laughs> and we will. Yeah, so I absolutely love... Um, I absolutely love riffs, and I think that uh, it, it was an amazing transition to mm-hmm. Savage Worlds. Highly recommend it. Savage Worlds, kind of a learning curve, mm-hmm. um, but all in all, uh, very balanced, and and the finality of character death isn't as omnipresent or ever present as it is in the original riffs books, mm-hmm. which is basically just a hit a hit point system. You 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 get down to zero hit points, you're dead. Mm-hmm. That's, yeah, that yeah. that's it. So, so yeah, I was a I was a big fan of that. What is a good bog standard character to play in an otherwise very complicated game? ADD. And our producer, <laughs> producer yeah. is yeah, telling just, us we might need to go on a break. Yeah, just, a just just reminding us that we're like an hour in at this point, and uh, yeah, we we need to get paid. Yeah, um, yeah, yep. And there, <laughs> there, there, he you go. there, 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 yeah. there, 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 I mean, that's what the look, man, the, the, they, they've all been sitting on stream waiting for this. We all knew this was gonna happen. Exactly. Yep, yep. Uh, so, I dog very, there, there he is. There he is. Good yeah, times, right. good times. Hey, buddy boy. Hey. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, no, I, I, I think the only reason we don't play Savage Worlds more is that it's you know, it's it's a system that uh, cer- certainly encourages sort of minis and terrain and stuff for combat. Yeah, that's another and, thing. And yeah. so we're usually, like, reticent to do those because they don't make for great audio. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, that True. said, we, we did play, like, our old Savage Worlds, like Hellfrost and, and Rift Yeah, Hellfrost and us. Uh, and I miss the heck out of those because, uh, dear, dear viewers, were we doing those today, we'd probably figure out a way to do those on, on stream because mm-hmm. we had some amazing, like, backdrop settings, which are unfortunately yeah, we did. lost we did. to the pre-pandemic mists of time and, yep. and yeah. multiple moves, yep. sadly. But we had some really cool terrain. We have pictures. I think we put the pictures on the Fanable. We did put the pictures up, yeah. Uh, mm-hmm. So ch- check the Fanable Instagram. They should be up there. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, and, uh, you know, if you can't find them, let us know. We'll, we'll, we'll find mm-hmm. them. We'll put them on the Discord or something. Uh, but we had some lovely terrain. And frankly, I'd love to do that again. The problem is our terrain maker moved yep, uh, yep. far away. Yep. Yep. So, uh, and, so, so and alas, don't hold your breath for more of that, unfortunately. Yeah. Alas, as you said, um, one of the issues is, you know, we, we do make a show. And a lot of these games, they're, they're great to play around um, the table. But we have to think about, like, whether or not they'll make good audio. Yeah. It's yep. one of the reasons why, like... We're sitting on uh, an embarrassment. Hi, an embarrassment <laughs> of um, board games. Mm-hmm. We yeah, never we get are. to play them. Yep. We never get to play them because, like, we have limited time together. Yeah, and the time we use, we're usually going to use for stuff that's going to go recorded exactly. and be live. Yeah. and board games again don't don't make for great audio. Yeah, that's yeah. why. Like, and I don't. It, here's some advice for people who do their own podcasts and stuff like that. If you want to stay friends with your friends, just every week, like once a month, maybe once every two months, just have a hangout and yeah. or board game night. Exactly. Yeah, we we, we, make, we make yeah. a point of having like time that we spend together as friends yeah. outside of this. Because 
look, man, this, it's 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 a it's a stereotype these days. Uh, the whole like, well, we're just a bunch of friends and start recording. But look, we've been at this for thirteen years. I think we get to grandfather ourselves in as we were literally a bunch of friends. To start <laughs> yeah, recording. exactly. And, yeah, and, 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 you know, and then kind of. And if you can't tell, listen it. to how we edited our recordings because Oi. we didn't edit Oi. at all when we posted originally. Yes. Because like, oh, we just post this shit online. It's gonna be great. Uh-huh, and I'm kicking uh-huh, myself now. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Just so hard. Like we have, like for 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 <sighs> all our many many flaws, we have still improved. Substantial yeah, uh, in, in that time. Um, <laughs> so, real quick catch up on the chats as we've got DB over there, uh, still just hand, hand, kind of hanging out. Just, looking just judging us. Noble as fuck. No, I mean, that's a, that's a good <laughs> he's, photo. He's right there on the edge. Like, no, he's great. Like, you can stay right there, buddy. Yeah. Um, so, uh, let's see. Uh, Steve Rattu, yeah, yeah, our producer here is trying to bring in more viewers. Yep. Uh, Ken Doyle, yep. hey, welcome. Yep. Uh, welcoming, the, also in, in turn, welcoming the feline overlord. He is, yeah. he is an overlord, Dogberry, a.k.a. DB. Yep, yep. Mm-hmm. Um, from f- no standards to some standards, that is that is the fandible way. Yep, Jesus. exactly. Uh-huh. We don't know how we got here. Uh, yep. And Steve Rattu, thank you. Very kind of you to say that it was still great, but now it's just better. Uh, <laughs> that is you. incredibly kind of you, because <laughs> that's, you know, our, our original audio oh. is awful. That, not just like just editing, but just like... <laughs> yeah, no, we, like, we would eat into the mic. Oh, we Jesus would just like... <sighs> Yep. You know, yep. just constantly. Uh, that was yep. mostly me. <laughs> we would tap the table. Oh, oh geez, so fuck much yes. the table. That yes. only that only uh, stopped a few years ago. Yep. Yeah. In yeah. fact, I'll do it now. Yeah. Yep. I would. I would. I would genuinely like to do like a short series on like. So you want to start a podcast, <laughs> and it would oh. just be like, yeah, here's, here's the stuff that we learned the hard way because over the years, I didn't even like, realize that you could like go on YouTube back then mm-hmm. and like learn shit about right? how to do this. Right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, so so we did it the hard way until uh, we did start actively trying to reach out and find resources to teach us how to do that. Yep. And even then, a lot of it was just was just like you know duct tape spit in a prayer of like trying to understand like what you're learning right mm-hmm. so youtube youtube academy is full of people who do these things for a living but instead of getting a generalized education you're getting educated on very specific problems and their solutions but you're still learning piecemeal mm. And so you'll learn how to take care of this one problem. Like, oh, there's a weird hum in my audio. Like, what could it be? And some dude from Canada will be like, I've been a producer for 32 years. Let me show you how to fix this. And be like, wow, that's awesome. Yep. What's this light mean? <laughs> and it's just like, okay, what's this light on the Zoom? <laughs> it's like yep. so slow. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, yeah. But I mean, yeah, that's, that's how we've been learning like, this stuff. Like, yeah, we've just been... Watching YouTube videos, figuring it out as we go, breaking mm-hmm. shit, uh, and, and even then, and then when we think we have it figured out, something breaks right before we go on air. Pretty every much, goddamn time. Yep. Um, because this this stuff is half science, half black magic. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, still, but uh, but it's it's fun to talk to oh, people yeah. who don't know how to do this stuff like yeah. we do. Yep. Like I just had a I had a Skype meeting with my family today, <laughs> and they saw the recording area, and I was talking on one of our mics. And they were like, where are you right now? Like, because they saw the phone behind me mm. and the microphone and I had the light on. And I was like, oh, yeah, I guess if you have like zero interaction with this, this must look like magic. This yeah. was like Meanwhile, the... we're just not used to not seeing you anytime, like surrounded by yeah. audio. Pretty much. <laughs> and again, the equipment, like it would look weird if you did. Yeah, yeah. That. Then you would ask so we, where I am. Yeah, yeah, no, no, like, we'd ask if you're okay. Yeah. yeah. So, Dave, <laughs> blink, blink twice. Yeah. <laughs> Um, everyone knows what's going on. Oh, not just uh, mm-hmm. a comment from Steve Organ. Uh, after we called them very kind, uh, that they are in fact not a robot with a heart full of kindness oh. and magnanimity. True fact. Oh uh, yeah. True fact. I mean, it's a robot overlord. I'm okay being taken over for. <laughs> Magnum. Magnanimity. Magnanimity. Yep, it's a word. It's a word. Motherfucking Wordle has made. Just <laughs> the, <laughs> come on, Wordle's like wild. five letter words. Yeah, well, he's fucking it up then. <laughs> <laughs> Although, my, 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 so wait, uh, anybody else? Do uh, you, you guys ever play Wordle? No, or? I've never played. Yeah, so no, I help my partner one. sometimes who 
um, both wants my help but does not want me to succeed. Because, <laughs> I mean, we've all played those games where, like, yeah. you're looking at it, bet, beating your head against the wall, you show it one person, and mm-hmm. they're like, Scooter. <laughs> it's just like, fuck! Yeah. Um, I, I, I know, I, I play it every day. My, my starting word is roate. Which is Interesting. not ba- barely a word. It's 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 one of those like you don't know, but it's got all the letters R O A T E. Those are like the five most common words, mm-hmm. you know, letters in the English language. So mm-hmm. that's that's my starting word. Okay. Oh, nice. Nice. Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't know. I just I never get around it. to it. I might, I might do it, but I won't. It's, I mean, it's, 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 it's. Cool. Once you kind of get the hang of it, and you start like some of those, some of them are real easy, but occasionally you're like. Okay, let me sit down and figure this shit out, cause, mm-hmm. cause it's 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 the the trick is that once you know a letter can't be used, then you, then you can kind of figure out the words a little bit better, cause you go know, like, okay, there are no L's, so it can't be this. It mm-hmm. is a cool idea. It's like a mix yeah. between um, uh, what's the one with Vanna White? <laughs> oh, uh, Wheel of Fortune. Wheel of Fortune. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like yeah, Wheel of Fortune and like Scrabble. And yeah. mm-hmm. I, I mean, I, I love it. It's a, it's a simple game. It's got some simple rules, and you guys know the the story behind it, right? Because the, the 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 original creator of this basically just wrote it as as a gift for his girlfriend. Because oh. I think they were like, if I'm not mistaken, I may be wrong. It's been a while since I've read the story. But if I'm not mistaken, they were like there was like some for some reason they were like long distance for a while, and they're both like fans of puzzle stuff. So like he just wrote this for his girlfriend. Nice. It's like every day you're gonna get a word. You're gonna and you'll know like I did this for you and. Yeah, it's, That's it's, very sweet. Sweet. it's very sweet and then people just discovered like oh, that was fun and then you know the new york time gave him like here's a bag of money and he's like baby i love you <laughs> <laughs> but i baby choose i darkness. love you but look at all this money i can look man i can i can write you a six letter one for you baby <laughs> yeah yeah with all this oh, money or, or think all this money oh look at all this Wedding money we yeah. have on yeah, the exactly. side. Oh look a house we can yeah, buy a house check out the honeymoon <laughs> uh, uh so uh steven or uh magnanimity the condition of being magnanimous. Okay, look, I love, <laughs> I love these, you know, those, those, look, these are actual the dictionary, you find these in the dictionary, yes. right? They are like, you know, large, the condition of being large, <laughs> you know, like, or, you know, like, yes, okay, fine, fine, you're right, you are technically correct, the best kind of correct. But, large C big. what the fuck, exactly, <laughs> what the fuck is being magnanimous? I mean, I know this because I read books, but these guys here... <laughs> Hey, um, <laughs> I've read a book. You read a book once. <laughs> um, a word uh, is a word that they are comfortable typing but never saying out loud. I understand I've said it multiple multiple times. Mm-hmm. Magnanimous. Magnanimity. I mean, uh, besides I, describing yourself, have you ever said to somebody else, though? <laughs> I'm just hearing Magna Mouse, which Magna sounds Mouse. like a villain from We Are the Cartoon it's Heroes. A, I'm pretty sure it's a Pokemon. It's now, it's now canon. Magna Mouse is Magna 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 Mouse. I'm pretty sure it's a Pokemon. Yeah. Uh, it's a large, not small. Yeah, yeah, you're not wrong. <laughs> you're not wrong. The right. Definition. <laughs> not, the condition of being not wrong. Uh, <laughs> yeah kind of say that's robot talk right there mm-hmm. <laughs> lots of robot talk going on in the chat yep yep yep, yep. Oh, sounds like uh eagle 20 how often have you been sober when saying that because you were trying to use big words spe- specifically to prove you were not drunk um i mean i haven't been sober since 97 so i'm not yeah. sure mm. uh, it's a toughie um i have i have while intoxicated tried to do that and I usually, I developed a system where basically I'll stop halfway through the word because somebody in the control center of my brain will be like, it's not going to work, chief. <laughs> and then I will immediately take like a different tact of breaking down what word I was going to use. Mm-hmm. So, so I would be like, you know, mag, it's just one of those words that fucks with me. Uh, Mag- <clears throat> magnanimity or magnanimous. Yeah. Magnanimous. Yeah. I would try to say something like magnanimous. Um, and then I would ha- halfway through uh, magnanimous be like, Magnet, you see what I'm actually worried about <laughs> is the issue of. <laughs> and like, yeah, and just try to like immediately segue into, talk segue into like smaller words. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah. Just kind of um, like uh, when you try to cook like a very complex meal and halfway through you're like, or it's stir fry. Yeah. No, that, that's yeah. your ability. When, I, when I'm super drinking, I have the tendency to ramble. Yeah, you like I'm a happy drunk. Don't get me wrong. I'm a happy, wonderful drunk, but I keep talking, and I can never. And I have a point in there somewhere, and in my mind, it's perfectly clear. But everyone else is just like, "What the fuck is he talking about?" Yep. 
dip, yep. but you know what? It's harmless. Yeah, yeah, true. <laughs> so thankfully, that's great. That's fine. <laughs> Quick catch up as Disaster Tourism is heading out. Thank you for hanging out, uh, Disaster Tourism. Uh, you are always welcome to come join us on our streams. We try and do one of these every week, and we... Uh, so got, far, so good. Yeah, we got, so far, like, so good, we got yeah. like a 6,500, 700 battery average. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I'm getting these out of the door, so yeah, yeah, yeah. we're getting better. But yes, thank you for joining us. Uh, see, we are two... With a, with, a, with a proper definition, magnanimous, adjective, generous, or forgiving, especially towards a rival or less powerful person. You sound like you're about to phone in a speech you needed to write for class. <laughs> because that was always in uh, in school. That was always the... Uh, that was always like the, the, the definitive thing that you would do for a, uh, for a speech uh, that you yes, needed yes. to give. It would be like... Webster's Dictionary Defines describes magnanimous. magnanimous. <laughs> it's like, yeah, it'd be yeah. like you didn't. You wrote this while hungover, like on your way here. Didn't pretty you? much, pretty yeah, much, exactly. So, all right, I think that actually, on considering that note, the time, yeah, we, we are get recording yep. to our other gig. Yep. So, thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Please uh, keep a lookout for our uh, our our new little uh, things that we're going to be doing for this this series. Mm-hmm. Um, Pardon me. So, yeah, I've been Professor Dave. This is Professor Azus. That's hey. Professor Daniel. And, uh, yeah, please rewrite your speeches for class on Monday. I don't want to see any definitions popping up in the beginning of your speech. <laughs> All right. Thank you very much. This has been Office Hours. Fanable.com. Woo. All right. Uh, and, uh, yeah, you will just need to give me a minute to actually uh, swap <laughs> us out. Because I have, We're professionals. Uh, look, you're closing us out real quick. <laughs> <laughs> We're professionals. <laughs> yep. We're gone. We're yeah, done. Yeah. Yeah. Fucking, Take off your pants. Those Take off your can't pants. can't hear us anymore, right? Uh, no, no. They're, they right, can Dan? hear us and see us. I'm, oh, damn. I, look, man. Yeah. You started closing us out before I could do anything. And this, oh, this, there we go. And, and then. What? Uh, wait, endings? Plebeus? Plebeus? Wow. I'm trying to be magnanimous. You're trying to be whatever you need to be. Okay, we are. I am.